Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, I want to show you how you can synchronize your Outlook calendar with your Google calendar in both directions. Out of the box, Outlook does not support this yet. So we're going to use an additional software tool to accomplish that. Okay, let's get started. Um, everything I show here in this video, you can click the link in the video description. There's a blog post where you can read everything again if I'm too fast at any point of the video. Okay, I already started Outlook and here on the left hand side are my calendars. My Outlook is in German, so but I think you, you can manage. Okay, here are my calendars. We can either use an existing calendar or a new one. I want to create a new one and I click add here and just create an empty mm -hmm. calendar. So we name it Outlook, uh, we name, to name it Google and click OK. And here's our new calendar and well, it's empty. And in this calendar, I now want to synchronize my Google calendar. To do that, we will use the software tool here. Uh, it's out, it's name, it's, its name is Outlook Google Calendar Sync. It's a free software, it's open source and you can download it as installable version here or as portable version. So I will go forward with the installer, just click download and download the tool. And after download, well, just install the file. Okay, the tool is now installed and it should start automatically. If it doesn't show up, just look here in the tray. There should be an icon for Outlook Google Calendar Sync or on the desktop should be a shortcut and as well in the start menu. After start, there's a small help screen, which basically describes what I will show in this video. First thing we need to do is the configuration settings. So let's do the settings. The first tab here is Outlook, where we select our mailbox and also our calendar, which we want to use for synchronization. I only have one mailbox here, so it's a default mailbox. Otherwise you can select other alternate alternative mailboxes here, and then you have to select the calendar. Your calendars should show up here, the default calendar, German holidays, birthdays, and also my newly created Google calendar in Outlook. I select this one here, and then we go forward to the Google tab. Here we have to connect our Google account with the tool. So currently nothing is connected. We do that by clicking retrieve calendars. This should show up a web browser where we can enter our credentials for our Google account. I will do that and then we move forward. I entered my username, my email address and password and now I have to do the two-factor authentication. I will do that as well. And the last step is to grant access to your Google account for Outlook Google Calendar Sync. So I grant access here. And after that, just close the window. The connected Google account should show up here. And now we are connected to Google. The next thing we need to do is the sync options. And here we can define, for example, the direction. Do we want to synchronize just from Outlook to our Google Calendar? or from Google to Outlook, or the most interesting part is, I think, the Outlook Google two-way synchronization. So every, every time I add something on one calendar, it should show up in the other one as well. Here's a small tip. Um, deletions are disabled by default. It's a question I get a lot. Um, I delete an entry in one calendar and it's not deleted on, on the other. So you just have to uncheck this checkbox here to enable the deletions. Okay. You can also configure what range, what date range you want to synchronize. By default, um, all events from one day in the past are synced and 60 days in the future. So if you don't see up entries, um, you don't see entries far in the future or in the past, you can configure it here. For example, if you also want to synchronize all events from last month, just enter 30 days here, for example, or 60 days, it's two months, more or less in the future. You can also schedule the synchronization. So if you want to automatically do the synchronization, you can schedule the synchronization here, for example, 
every one hour or every 15 minutes. Hit the save button to save the settings. That's very important. Otherwise, all settings are lost and you have to do it again. And well, you can also define more synchronization options here. For example, do you want to add the location and other things as well. You can also configure the application behavior. That's basically, you, do you want to start the tool on login? That makes sense. For example, if you want to synchronize um, on a regular basis, for example, after, after every 15 minutes, then it makes sense to activate the auto, auto start. And hiding the splash screen, that's only possible after you have done a donation to the author. So uh, we are good to go. I hit the save button again. And all I have to do now is do the sync, start synchronization. And this should now synchronize my Google Calendar with my Outlook Calendar. Now we are done. Synchronization is finished. And now let's have a look to Outlook. And as you can see, there are now entries in our Google Calendar. And if I add an, for example, add an all day event here, for example, drink beer. And now let's see if this gets synced back to Google, start synchronization. Okay, synchronization is finished. And now let's have a look to my Google Calendar and our drink beer all day event is added to our Google Calendar. And well, that's it. That's how you can synchronize your Outlook and Google Calendar with this small tool, Outlook Google Calendar Sync. If something doesn't work, for example, entries don't show up or get, don't get deleted or synchronization is not done properly, check the synchronization options here. If you have uh, configured the direction correctly, deletions and also the date ranges. And well, that's it for this video. And if you have any questions, just ask them in the comment section or click the link below to get to our blog post where we describe everything in detail. Okay, thanks for watching and goodbye.